Hi guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing a more, I don't even know if you'd call this vloggy style of video, but it's just literally going to be hanging out and we have Jem who's here being crazy. So you're probably going to hear her, but <clears throat> I feel like the last time, maybe two times, I don't know how many times I did this, but I just kind of did like a random vloggy style haul type video. And that's what I did today. Just went around and ran a bunch of errands. Um, and so I have a bunch of random stuff and I want to talk about it. So we have Jem who has stuff on her tail. Jemmy, I use these, I use these little like plastic things. They're on my sample packs. And so I use them, it like holds the glue to like stick it together, but they're so staticky, like they just stick to everything. And so I tried to pick them all up and they're all over Jeb. So, and you know, naturally she'll try to eat them. So it's going to be a super laid back casual video. And Jem's definitely going to try and insert herself because she's being crazy right now. But I think I'm going to start, I went to Walmart. She almost just knocked over the camera. Uh, I went to Bath and Body Works and I went to Target and, um, I bought some food in all of this, like not grocery shopping, but I bought like coffee creamer and like chips <laughs> and just like, um, random, some extra food that we forgot to get during our grocery order, but I put that all away. So this is just going to be the extras. Let's dive into it. Okay. First, I'm going to start with Walmart. I definitely picked up some food, so I had more than just these things, but also, I'm going to save my receipts and scan them into Fetch. If you guys don't use Fetch um, or like any of those types of apps, you definitely should. I would recommend it. Okay. I first got, um, this is going to be super random, but I switched purses and I moved into the Fossil Sydney satchel. Um, I bought the Fossil Sydney and the Fossil Rachel satchels, both over like Christmas kind of when they were having like major discounts. I kind of get the feeling they do a lot of these major discounts because um, they email me like every day, but they were maybe like $40 a piece and I totally love them. So I moved into the Sydney and I put in a journal into the bag. I should have brought the bag up here, honestly. If you want to see what's in my bag, <laughs> let me know. Um, I feel like those are kind of like old school, but I really love them. So in there, I have like a hard-sided like moleskin. It's from Walmart though. So it's like a Exceed journal. Um, and it's like narrow-ish. I mean, it's probably like a5. I don't know if that's even right, but whatever. It's like that. It's just like a regular moleskin type notebook, but it's hard sided and it's kind of thicker. So it doesn't, it's not the best fit and it kind of makes my bag a little heavy. So while I was at the store, Gemma, Gemma, do not jump up there. I feel like I have like a baby, but it's just my cat. Um, who's incredibly naughty when I try to film. Like she sleeps all day while I'm trying to work. And then when I try to do something important, she's just like so naughty. Okay. So they have these for like a dollar or two. They're just like composition. It says Polly Junior Composition Notebooks two pack. And they only have 80 sheets. I'm gonna open these and they say they're college ruled, but they're like bendy and they're kind of small. So I'm actually gonna open it if I can. I, uh didn't prepare that I was going to be doing this. Sometimes opening stuff with a pen can be dangerous if you like accidentally write on the stuff. If it's like anything of value, you're like, whoops. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're like super bendy. This is going to be perfect. Um, regular old notebooks. Oh, this is going to be so perfect. So I have stuff that I like. I obviously have my phone pretty much everywhere but if I'm out and about somewhere especially if I'm like doing something um by myself so I'm doing a lot of thinking um I like to write stuff down I'm just such a person who like if I don't write it down um sometimes I can do like type it out of my phone real fast or if I'm driving in the car and something hits me I'll do like the dictation I'll do like the talk to text on my phone um, but generally I 
like to write things down just because I feel like it helps me kind of formulate a better plan. So green and black. I'm going to replace the XC journal in my bag and put in one of these. And they're, they're like two bucks. Like I said, it was such a good deal. Um, exactly what I was looking for. Ideally, I wanted like a longer skinnier one, but this is perfect. Okay. Walmart. I was like, where were we at? This is like business ish supplies I want to say um are you gonna be good now <laughs> oh my gosh this is my robe I would like to wear but she always just lays on it like she loves that it's on there so happy okay these are more like business supplies um for my Scentsy business so I was out of envelopes so I got this big mamma jamma of envelopes. It's just the pen and gear and these are the peel and stick. So you just peel it off and you can close it. You don't have to lick them. They're the number 10s. There's 250 and they're 977. I don't know. I'm sure you can get maybe better ones on Amazon like price wise. Um, but I like to buy these 250 lasts me a decent while especially with kind of how I do my happy meal these days. Um, if you want a video on that, let me know. <laughs> but uh, I feel like it lasts me a good while and I can get them right at Walmart. I made an Amazon order today, <clears throat> but I don't have Prime and I don't necessarily like care to have Prime. I really don't use Amazon. Like <laughs> before my Scentsy business, I was kind of like anti-Amazon, I'll be honest. Um, but now that I have my Scentsy business, I do buy a lot of things from Amazon. So I've kind of gotten more into it, but I don't, I just don't love it for some reason. I don't know. They do have good things on there though. So I do buy a lot more now, but I have to wait quite a while, like sometimes a week or two for things to come. And like, I can't do, I'm out of envelopes completely. Like I can't send one more mail or I'm out. So I needed these really bad, um, Walmart for the win. I, I don't know if it's, better to order on Amazon, but convenience. So I'm sure everyone does their own thing. Okay. Also, I'm trying to get more organized story of my life. So I have a lot of like papers for what I do. Um, and so I have, you know, like labels and all the things. So I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. It's called this seven pocket backpack file and I don't know why it's called backpack file but it's like a file folder system but top loader so the things at the top and like you don't flip it like they don't sit landscape <laughs> they sit portrait <laughs> if you're uh if you're thinking of it that way and then they basically just have all the dividers like everything sits this way so I'm thinking of using this for like my 5160 lip, like anything that I have printed or sometimes I just have extra sheets that I will write on in here because I don't like to put them back in their box if they're used because then I can't like pull out a fresh sheet and put it in the printer. I'd have to like, I don't know. It's just my thing. So I think I'm going to use this. This was only... <clears throat> five dollars five thirty six and I was like for five dollars I can test out if this works and keeps me more organized right now I have hanging files in a box which is fine but I have paper piled on top of the hanging files in the box like I have paper stacked on the box on the hanging files that's the mess I want to clean up I don't the hanging files work but I have to be able to get to them for them to work so and then I also got this smaller one, which is the seven pocket expanding file. This one at first I was like, oh, I feel like people would use this for like receipts or something, which I have a hanging file for my receipts. So I'm like, I don't really need that. And I don't like this would be a receipt, but I don't need a ton of like, I don't, I have more receipts on my computer than I have these receipts, you know, <clears throat> maybe you don't know, but I do. I mean, like since you orders, Amazon orders, things like that pirate ship, all that happens on my computer. I don't need to like print out my receipt for my accountant. I can just like put it in my Google drive. So, but, so I was like, what would I even use this for? Like I, I need to get the big one. 
<clears throat> then I was like, I print a ton of stickers on my Rolo. So I love my Rolo printer. It's like one of the best purchases I've ever made. It was a lot of money. <laughs> so I don't think if you do Sensi as like a side business, you should get a Rolo printer because that's not a good investment with your money. Well, the, I'm, I don't want to tell you what's a good investment, but like I use it to print off like 200 address labels at a time of my own address. I don't think it's an investment if you're like, oh, I want to print off like random stuff one by one. I think you just really have to evaluate if it makes sense for you because I think it was like almost $200. I don't know if that's exactly what it was, but I think it was that. But for me, it's a total game changer. I can run off a thousand labels in like 10 minutes if I want to. And I do all my shipping labels on it. It looks so professional. I totally love it. However, it doesn't make sense for everyone. And it made more sense for me than Dymo. It just was like a better value to me because of what I can do versus what you could do on a Dymo. But that being said, the stickers are sometimes a mess. Like if you only print off less than a hundred, maybe, I don't know if you, if you do like 50 or less and you can't like put them in a roll and put them somewhere where you can like pull from the roll, it can be a mess. Or a lot of times I do have, I do circles, but I cut them in half so I can get like better bang for my buck. I don't know. I can get like half stickers. So those I'm going to put in here. I wish I had a good example of one but I'm gonna put those in here just because they kind of start to like pile up and pile all over. But then I could like just fold the sheets and put them in here and then I could pull them out more easily and not lose them. Cause right now they just sit everywhere and they sit in these little containers sometimes, but I also use this for my samples, like paper. It's just a paper mess. So, and that one was only $2.64. So for me, I was like, I don't know, $7 to see if I can get a little bit more organized. We'll make it happen. Got to keep that receipt. Let me keep it with this one. But that one I actually have to keep like for my taxes. Okay. Then I also forgot about this at Walmart. I picked up this uh, Revlon lip gloss in, uh, it's their Super Lustrous The Gloss in Rosy Future. Heard somebody talking about this and I was like, yes, please. It kind of gives me Fenty Glow vibes. If you can see that. I don't know. And it actually wasn't too bad. It was the most expensive thing besides a scratch pad for Gemma I bought at Walmart. And it was $7.34. Bought Jemmy a new scratch pad. She deserves it. Totally asleep. Okay. Well, let's go to Bath and Body Works next. Okay, I had two free rewards to redeem. So this is always the toughest part for me. What do you redeem your rewards on? Because almost nothing <laughs> qualifies anymore for rewards. I know they moved them to $16.95 from $16.50. But all their other prices move to like $18.95. So they don't qualify. <laughs> it makes me very angered. Also, there's this one associate at my store. And while I love that she works there and whatever, I don't love when she checks me out because I just feel like she doesn't know how the system works. And like, the one time I was trying to redeem for a pastel skies travel spray and I was like, can I use my reward for this? And she's like, why don't you use it on the big one? And I'm like, cause I think it's too much money. And she radios to the front and is like, how much can someone check? How much is the, the pastel skies room spray? And they're like, Oh, it's whatever. And then she's like checking my reward app and she's like, Oh, I do think it's too much. I'm like, yeah, I know. Cause I checked the price of it. Like, I don't expect you to memorize all the prices, but it was just such a like, it was a not a bad experience per se, but it just took so long. And I was like, I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job, but I checked the price. I know it's too much money. Like, unless you're going to come back here and be like, oh, it's fine. We'll give it to you. Awesome. 
but that was totally not the case. I know it's too much money. <laughs> I just, I want to just get the mini. I just want to use my great reward. So she was working and I was like, I want to redeem two rewards and I want to buy stuff. And like, anytime I check out with her, she's like, we might have to do the rewards separate. Like, I don't, it'll try to redeem your reward for like your cheap things you're buying. And I'm just like, she's just so slow and it's just so painful. So I was like waiting and then someone was checking out with her and then some other gal was checking and I went to go see her. I was like, hi, can, can you help me? I just, I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm like, I come here a lot. Like, I know a lot of your faces. I feel like you're probably like, I see her a lot. I, I know what's redeemable for rewards. Like, you can see from my rewards account, I have a lot of rewards. You probably know I shop here a lot. <laughs> like, come on. I know what's, I know what works and what doesn't, okay? So, finding rewards is just really tough, but I was like, I'm going to go in. I'm going to do it. So whatever. Okay. I ended up redeeming two because I had two coming due in like the next two weeks. I have one for like a month from now as well. And I think I have one more as well. So I'll be back. But <laughs> anyway, I believe I have one of these, but I just don't know how long this is going to stick around. And it's my favorite. It's the pastel skies. And I got it in the lotion this time. Last time I got in the mini mist, like I said, and we went through the whole ordeal, me and the gal, but I really love this one. I literally checked the mist again. I'm like, Ooh, just in case like, it changed price. It, it didn't. Um, it's still too much and I just don't want to pay full price for it, but if it doesn't make it to SAS, I just want to have some. So I think I have some body creams. I have a body wash now I have a body lotion. I have the mini mist. I'm happy. Um, but I love this. I don't have the notes of it, but it's like sugar and coconut and like soft musk or, you know, those fluffy words they put in there. But to me, it's just super cozy. It kind of just reminds me of like something nostalgic, like a really kind of sweet vanilla type scent my grandma used to use. Um, just like something cozy at her house so I think she had this fancy like bar of soap or something that smelled really good it kind of just reminds me of that um I like to use it a lot before bed it's just kind of calming for me so I like pastels guys okay and then I redeemed for a sun blooms and suede I had no intention of this but I smelled it in the store and I really liked it it's white raspberry pink petals and vanilla cream um I don't really want to like spray my arm. I just remember in the store, it was like really pretty, a little bit of berry, but like not mostly vanilla, but it definitely had a vanilla in there. It wasn't like super fresh or super perfumey. It was just a really nice spray. And I was like, I feel like I could add this on multiple, like combine it with multiple things, combine it with multiple perfumes. So I was like, you know what? And it's a spray and it's $16.95. I'm redeeming for it. I was like, should I get it in the shower gel? But that was only $13.95. And I was like, I'm getting the most out of this reward. I'm getting the fragrance mist. So that was not on my radar, but I ended up getting it. So then next I was like, I really, I really only went in to redeem my rewards. But then I was like, you know what? I was looking online today and I was like, I kind of want, now that I've switched my purse to that fossil purse, I want a pocket back holder that is a little bit more secure on this bag just to feel better about myself. So I ended up getting this little pocket back holder that like is a, it's like a case almost if you will. I think they call these snap cases. So essentially it, it's like a, not silicone, but like it's almost got a rubbery silicone-y type feel to it. Um, yeah, it's like, I don't know. This one felt better than the two black ones they had. Those one felt more rubbery and this one feels almost more like a softer like silicone. I don't know if that's like right, but they're not like leather. It's like fake, you know, I don't know. It just feels better this one, it's softer. But it basically just like snaps and it just like holds your pocket back. 
and then it just like snaps. And I didn't even realize, I didn't even think about this, but like you can just open it and like open this and squeeze it. You don't even have to like take out the pocket back. I was thinking like, oh, you'll have to like take it out or whatever, but you don't even, which is another plus. But I was reading the reviews of these online and it was basically like, I don't have to worry about my pocket back spilling anymore. And I was like, yeah, that would really be nice because <laughs> I feel like I don't want on my brand new purse that I literally just started using, um, my pocket back spilling on it. And I do have this problem at work, but it's just on my work key. So I don't care as much, but on my purse, I cared a little bit more. So I, uh, opted out of going for the black ones, which would have looked better with my purse and went for this one. Cause it just feels a little better and looks cleaner. And then I was really having a moment where I was like, Oh my gosh, they're not going to let me do um, my two rewards and by that $5 thing, this, this was like $6, $6.95. I was like, they're not going to let me buy this one thing for $6.95. The, the system's going to trigger like this is her reward item because it's the cheapest. So I was like, what if they make me check out? I was really having a moment, if you can't tell. Um, I was like, what if they're going to make me check out twice because then I need to pay for my $6 item and then redeem my two free rewards. So I was like, you know what, I should just get some pocket bags while I'm here. Roundabout way of me saying I also got some pocket bags. I did a five pack of pocket bags. Not that I needed to, but anyway. I got a Mango Papaya Paradise. I thought Corey would like that one. I got Mahogany and Vanilla and I love this new design. These are so cute. That was my favorite scent in the ones that looked like that. Uh, Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I got a strawberry kiwi. I might already have one of these. I don't know. And then I got Among the Clouds. I might also already have one of these. I don't know. Nah, I have this in the wallflower. Well, now I have it on my nose. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this, like, I couldn't get the perfume in that. I thought about it to begin with, and then I saw it. I was like, no, thank you. So I'm going to put all this back in the bag so I make sure I add it to my inventory but that's everything I got Bath and Body Works um the original price does it tell you my total it says my total discount was 35.65 but that seems like a lot I don't know I only paid 15.92 not complaining about that. I'm going to leave out the pocket bag holder so I make sure I switch that on my new purse. Okay. All right. Now let's get into Target. So me and the old, me and the old Target. So I had a clothing return and I actually bought some clothing. I think maybe let's just go through that first quick because I have some other stuff as well. So I had a clothing return and then I was like, you know what? Let's get more clothing. Cause that's the answer. I do like how on the receipt though, they like separate out like apparel, grocery, health and beauty, laundry and cleaning. It's kind of nice. Okay. So I returned some pants because I bought them and they were too big for me. I have this problem with Target and like anywhere I buy pants that isn't like a quote unquote dress store like loft <laughs> that loft is where I typically buy my pants other places like Target Walmart whatever the case may be I have this problem where they don't have consistent sizing so like sometimes I'm a zero sometimes I'm a two sometimes I'm an extra small sometimes I'm a small like I'm a super petite person I'm only like five one um and so like I need short in a lot of things versus regular but that's not a thing like regular stores like Target. So it's just kind of hard to buy things sometimes. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go in store and I'm just going to try some stuff on. So anyway, the first thing I got is this like 90s, if you will, uh, tea. I don't, it doesn't have the name on it. I can look at, let me just pull up my Target account while we're talking. I actually bought this in another color and I wore it to work and one of my coworkers was like, I was like, I just don't know if this is my vibe. I wore it with some like really baggy type pants. Um, I might wear it again tomorrow, to be honest. I'm kind of feeling it. Uh, I'm just feeling a little bit like, eh. So I might wear it again tomorrow, but 
um they're like super baggy they're like super trendy right now and I was like I just don't know if this is my vibe or not and he's like you're very like 90s like this is what we used to wear in the 90s and I was like so is it bad <laughs> like what is so is it good is it bad what do we think so I got it in like a um nude color and I was like this will be really cute in black so let me go to my orders and tell you what it's called it looks almost like a tank top but like I don't know if you can tell that this is a sleeve right here it like barely hangs off the shoulder so this is the um it's called the women's short sleeve extended shoulder t-shirt it's honestly like a glorified tank top though but it's kind of like for me being so petite, it falls off the shoulder like literally like this. Just enough to be like, oh, it's a t-shirt. But it's really like a glorified muscle tee. <laughs> so I might wear the tan one tomorrow because that'd be fun. Okay, I got this skirt in a different color. And I got it because I follow some people who um, post a lot of stuff on like Like to Know It. And Like to Know It, that's the app, right? And um. I fell in love with this, you guys. I have it in a different color. It's like a really, I don't know that I would really call this silk, but it's like a silk type skirt. And it just has like an elastic waistband. <clears throat> this I got in an extra small and it fits me perfectly. But it's just like this silk type skirt and the one side has a slit in it speed the other side just has a slit in it kind of like halfway up um I have it in the black with the hearts on it which is adorable I really I wore it for Valentine's Day that's not where I got why I got it I also didn't realize it had hearts on it when I got it I just thought it was kind of like dots um but I got it and I was like oh they're hearts I'll wear this for Valentine's Day but I think it's gonna be cute all the time regardless and I they had pink and orange um left for colors and I was like this pink color I think will be better than the orange I feel like I could wear this with black with white with gray whatever um <clears throat> whereas the orange I'm like am I that bold I <laughs> not that this isn't bold but I feel like pink like pink's kind of my thing so I got that and I was really happy about it um okay I picked up these pants and these are the high rise fitted hip and thigh kick flare I don't know if that's just a bunch of words but that's the tag if that helps you and obviously as you can tell I got these in a two regular these are I I feel like the trend <laughs> at these types of stores is like they're not real dress pants but they're like a version of dress pants so they're kind of like a thick material that's kind of stiff but they don't have like belt loops or anything it's very high-waisted they like went these ones I tried on in the um fitting rooms the other two I was like I already own these so I know my sizes but these I had to try in the fitting rooms this is super high it just zips up the side I don't know if you can see this here it just has like a zipper down the side of it that's how it secures um the this pair of pants was a lot better than the some other ones I tried on so the ones I returned they were twos they were like massive on me um I was like I would try a zero but they don't even come in a zero this these I was like they're a little big but like around the belly button like where this elastic is it wasn't like in any of the other part so I was like honestly that's probably not so bad. I'm going to retry them on now that I'm home. Maybe just like at a different time of day and like with some dress clothes. I'm going to retry them on before I cut any of the tags off just to make sure. But I feel like these ones will do a little better. So I got a tan. And they're kind of like ankle pants. They're probably supposed to be meant to be like mo like short short on regular size people. But because I'm short they're like high waters <laughs> they're just like barely above my ankle but I feel like with a like a heel or like a little boot that's kind of trendy so it's whatever um but then I also got them in black and they kind of are like tight through the knee and then they kind of just like straight leg it says flare but I don't know that I would say they flare necessarily 
Um, oh gosh, I'm knocking stuff over. I don't know that I would say they're super flared like they're like bell bottom type pants. They just are like straight throughout the knee. Um, so yeah, I got them in black because I was like, if they fit my black pants are what I'm struggling with right now. I, both of them, the ones I own and they have two pairs of black pants and I hate them both. Like one is so tight, but the, it's like a horrible, they're like on their last leg because it's my favorite. And then the nicer of the two, like the nicer material of the two, it needs to be downsized. Like it needs to be taken in. So I might have to get that done. I really don't want to, but I might. Okay. I know I was, I know I said I'm not going to get orange because it's so bold, but I got these, um, they're like, uh, paper bag pants. I don't know if that's what they call these still these days, but I have some pants like this and they're kind of, kind of like that paper bag type pant style. But honestly, they're like glorified jeans. Like they have seams and stuff down the middle and they have back pockets. But I feel like this fun color makes them work appropriate. Like they're glorified jeans, if you will. So um, I tried them on at a brown. These are also twos. Uh, but I feel like because they have this tie, makes it a little bit better. And then they do also like clip what do they call this? That type of clip. And then they zip up and then they tie just the same as my other paper bag type pants. But I feel like, um, I got them in the orange because I felt like the, uh, model, <laughs> the little mannequin thing had them on and she looked great now. She was doing a great job. So I was like, I feel like those on her, the color versus I tried like the more, um, like muted brown and I was like those look more dressy than these brown ones look like it's really drab so I went with the orange so I'm gonna try on probably all the pants one more time before I cut the tags off and wash them just to make sure but the skirt and the shirt are a win because I know um I already own those so okay Let's talk about the rest of the random stuff I bought. And let me tell you, it's random. I have my return receipt in here as well, because I did a return, I think I said that. I am not a return person. I was so proud of myself for doing a return. I am the type of person who will literally buy something and be like, well, it doesn't fit me. I guess I'll just have to like donate it. I have the receipt, like I just don't like that I feel like return, making a return is like a form of confrontation, I feel like, and I don't like it. it. Even though it's not like literally I was at Target and I was like, here's the pants that don't fit me. I didn't even say that. I was like, I want to return this. And the girl was like, let me scan your receipt on your phone. And I was like, here you go. And she was like, could you just check on the the screen what why you're returning them? And the first option was doesn't fit. And I just clicked that and she was like, here's your receipt. The money's going to go back on your card. I was like, why do I put myself through this? Like I bought the wrong thing. Now I'm punishing myself. Like I bought the pants online. Of course I didn't know if they were going to fit or not. That was the whole purpose. So trying to be better about just like, I wouldn't even call it standing up for myself. Cause like it's a freaking return, but I just never like Corey is the king of like I've owned this for six months, but it's actually not doing what it's supposed to. Like he will return anything. And like when we met, I was like, I can't return this thing I just bought. Like, I don't know why it's so weird, but I'm, I'm working on it. I've done like two returns in the past month. Uh, look at me go. <laughs> I just, it's like, I paid my money for it. I can return it. Right. I'm trying to like build that mindset for myself. Okay. This is going to be super random. Um, and I don't even know, let's just talk about it. I feel like last time I <laughs> got one of these, I, I probably went through the same spiel, but we got a scrub daddy. Okay. Let's just, let's just start here. I got a scrub daddy because in my last 
one of these little vloggy hauls. I got the Power Paste with the Scrub Mommy, I think. So I've been really watching some cleaning videos lately. I just get in these rabbit holes, you know? So lots of cleaning videos lately. They were talking about the difference between like the scrub mommy and the scrub daddy and the scrub babies and the scrub whatever and like all these different types. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is overwhelming. Um, but we've really been using the scrub mommy. Like we actually really like it with the paste or whatever, especially to clean our stove. It just works really well. But I was telling Corey, I'm like, I feel like one of my issues, one of my issue areas is the bathroom showers and the toilets but I'm like I'm not about to use our scrub mommy that we use on our stove in the bathroom like not happening so while I was at Target I was like you know what I'm just gonna pop on over and I went for the scrub daddy I don't know if that was a good call or not but I was like I don't want to get another scrub mommy and like somehow get them confused because I intend to use this in the bathroom so I wanted to make sure they were very like distinct and separate um, so yeah, I, I really like shower, like kind of base, you know, where it gets like grimy and I feel like honestly my stand up shower doesn't get as bad as the tub upstairs. I don't know why, but, um, I think that's going to be the main area and then kind of like in the toilet where it's like kind of get hard to get in the back, like where the, where the like, <laughs> where the lid closes but like you know where it like hinges I feel like back there is just collection of jemmy hair human hair like dust toilet paper dust like the bathroom's gross you know and I feel like that area even no matter how much I wipe it up it just like refuses to just like be clean for a day so gonna check this out um it's very intense like this is way more intense than the scrub mommy, like the um, consistency of it. So I feel like this will be good for the shower. It says for the bathroom, shower, sink, toilet, fixtures, and cabinets. I just like, I didn't want to use um, the same one in the kitchen and the bathroom. I'm sure many other people feel that way. Oh, it says you can put it in the dishwasher and can be sanitized in the dishwasher. I was like, how do you like sanitize it if you wanted to reuse it? But I don't, so. Scrub Daddy. Cleaning, <laughs> the cleaning areas of the internet. Okay, Um. next, this is super random, but I got this to Tree Hut Bear Tahitian Vanilla Bean Moisturizing Shave Oil. I saw someone talking about this and I had it screenshotted in my like photos on my phone and I walked past it and then I backed up and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I think that was the thing I had screenshotted on my phone. So, um, basically they were, it's not, it's definitely Tahitian vanilla. It's kind of like a salty vanilla. Um, they were talking about something with like shave oils versus shave creams. I don't even know who it was. Honestly, uh, it's probably like a short, I don't even remember. But I was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. It's definitely like a thicker consistency. It's not like oil oil that it's it gets runny, but it's not like it's going to be, I don't know, it could be slippery, I guess. It's not as intense of an oil as like my Frenchie. Like that one's like super liquidy and gets everywhere. This one seems like a decent texture so it wouldn't just like slip off your leg if you're supposed to shave with it. I'm curious. I'm going to probably use this tonight maybe just to test it even though I have other shave gels open. Anywho, let's keep going. I um, don't know. I didn't realize these had shade names. I need to look into this now, but I got the e.l.f. Sun Touchable Woe Glow. Uh, it's their dupe of the Super Goop sunscreen, glow screen. Um, Every time I'm at Target, they had a like end cap display of these and they were like gone in the first day. It was crazy. It says this in, in the shade Sunbeam. Is there more than one shade? Okay, it's sealed, so I'm not gonna open it. Um, but I'm really curious about this. So I need to double check, like, is there multiple shades? Do I need to possibly check into that before I go any further? Um, 
So I'm going to look into that before I truly open it, but I'm super curious about this. I'm using the sunscreen, the super goop, um, how the heck do you put that back together? I'm using the super goop unseen sunscreen right now and I hate it because I can't see it on my face. Like it's clear, which is great if you don't want a white cast, but it's horrible if you're like, I can't tell where I put it and where I didn't put it. I'm trying my best because I'm trying to just like go everywhere, but I can't physically see where it is and it's a problem. <laughs> I'm mad. Okay. Okay. Next I got impulse buys. I got two EOS shea butter hand creams. I got vanilla cashmere and coconut waters. These look so divine and yummy. Like, I don't know why, but my hands could not be more correct. I, hopefully you can't tell, but between every finger is like peeling skin. And then I will like, it will get to the point where they get so bad and they like start to bleed that I'll do like the super, I'll put like a ton of layers of like all the skincare and I'll lock it in with like a bunch of Vaseline and then I'll sleep with socks on. <laughs> We used to do that a lot as kids. Um, I don't know why, but we would do this thing where we would like lather our hands in Vaseline and then sleep with socks on. So they're like in the morning, they're just like baby soft and like so moisturized. So it gets really bad and I'll do that. But the days in between, like the two weeks in between when I will like do that before it gets like step one to like 14 days of, oh my gosh, my hands are cracking and they're so hurt. They hurt so bad. Um, it's just such a bad, like, I can't say no to hand cream, okay? This is what I'm trying to say. I love vanilla cashmere. Um, they had a full-size lotion of coconut waters there, so I smelled it, and it smelled good, so I got those. Okay, one last thing, and then I'm gonna let you guys go. Sorry this is taking so long, but it's vloggy, so. I'm really just going off on tangents, but that's kind of the purpose, I guess. I was trying to resist this. It's the Finery Sweet on the Outside perfume. This is the new brand of perfumes at Target. Um, the notes of this, uh, it's the scent experience is a hypnotic and delicious veil of smoky vanilla. It smells like Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean, and smoked vetiver. And honestly, I watched a review of this and I'm pretty sure this is the one they were like... This is similar to Billie Eilish's Eilish, which I own but haven't tried yet. So I cannot confirm or deny if that's true. But I used it at the store and I was like, oh, it's good. And then I was like carrying it around in my car and I was like, okay, I'm not going to buy this. <laughs> I was like, I don't need it. I'm not going to buy it. Oh, I have to keep it. Look at what I did this freaking box. Um, I was like, I don't, I don't need this. I'm not going to buy it, whatever. I took it out of my car and I put it to the side and then I was walking around like more and I kept getting these whiffs of it and I was like oh my gosh I have to go back and get it like I don't know you guys I was just like it kept hitting me in the face so here's what it looks like it's like this really nice I think that's glass bottle it definitely has a plastic lid um but really nice glass bottle oh it just smells so nice it's definitely not like an all day performer. Like I sprayed it on myself while I was at Target and I have washed my hands and done other stuff since, changed kind of, but I feel like I can't entirely smell it anymore. Um, also I have my coat on and then my coat was over my arm. So like it's probably on my coat too, but I feel like this isn't gonna be like the A1 eight hour performer, but for the price of it, and I really am obsessed with the scent. I don't know. I feel like this for me is like a purse for perfume almost. Like keep it in my purse, spray it on if I have an emergency need to smell good or touch up through the day. But it, it started off like, I don't even know how to describe it. What were the notes again? Madagascar vanilla tonka bean smoke whatever. It was like more intense as I sprayed it on but after like 10 minutes it just became this like vanilla skin scent but it was so sweet oh it was the only one left on the shelf until it was like panicking I was like oh I have to get it <laughs> um yeah they had the one that people are saying is like Ariana Grande Cloud the like white one I was not a fan I sprayed that on one 
hand. I was like, I don't like this. And I sprayed this on the other hand. And I was like, mm. And then I sprayed a different one because I only had a few on the shelves. So I was like, I only want to spray the ones that they have. Um, it was like an orangey one. I think it had orange blossom in it and it smelled terrible. I, it was so strong. I was like choking and I couldn't get that smell off the, my one side of my arm. So then I went and I sprayed this on more of this side of my arm. And that's when I kept getting like whiffs of it. I was like, oh, it really smells good. So this is the last thing in my little haul here, but I ended up getting one of these. Have you guys tried this brand? What do you think of it? trying to not i'm trying to like slow my roll on the perfumes but hey, you guys you guys have you tried it let me know so that is everything for today hope you guys are doing well thanks for hanging out with me jen's obviously asleep but i am going to work on putting all this stuff away and get kind of wrapped up for the night so thanks for hanging out with me and i'll see you next time bye